Hey guys, I have a little bit different of a collection tour today. And it's not even much of a collection tour, but rather a tour of my aquarium herd. So obviously you're probably going to ask, okay, what is an aquarium? So obviously it goes without saying that these guys are aquariums. So what exactly is an aquarium? They are made in the UK by a small company. Um, they are built out of a wire armature, stuffed with cotton, and then molded in latex rubber until you get the final form plus the herring. And they are very much kind of a UK thing. Um, there really aren't many US collectors with these guys in their hands. And just kind of the whole bendy horse culture in general, I guess you could call it, is very much a UK thing. It also goes along with the juleps and the magpies and everything, which I do not own yet. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys my little bendies. And hopefully I can kind of spread some love for them across the pond, because I think they're criminally unknown in this part of the world, and I think they're absolutely adorable. So, I'm just going to take you guys on a quick little tour of my meager aquarium herd, which currently numbers at 7. Okay, now aquariums come in three different scales currently, so I'm going to start with the little guys and then just work my way up from there. So, these guys are my pixie ponies, which are a little bit smaller than Briar stable mates. So, the first of the three is this little working hunter in flea bitten grey, with the white mane and tail. And he is currently unnamed. So believe it or not, even with their tiny size, the pixie ponies have every feature that the normal size aquariums have. Including the bendy legs and the haired manes and tails and the hand painted details. So this little guy is Puck. He's the draft horse in Black Tobiano, or Piebald as they'd say in the UK. A uh, kind of fun fact about him is that I believe he's the one that models the draft horse mold on Aquarium's website. Mm. Honestly, I just think he's adorable. He's definitely one of the more cartoony of the pixie pony molds, but I just think he has a lot of character. And then finally we have this guy who's also currently unnamed, and he's on the lightweight carriage horse mold. And I mean, just the detail in him is pretty insane on his Appaloosa spots, just considering how freaking small he is. But yeah, admittedly, he's probably my favorite of the three pixies I have, just because he has that awesome detail. And he's also very bendy, just because of the position he's in, which is always fun. So now I'm going to move on to the classic scale aquariums, but a lot of these guys can also pass for traditional scale ponies, depending on what breed you assign to them. So first up, we have Freya. I'm not quite sure what her mold is called, uh, but I tend to refer to it as the draft pony mold, just because it's very heavy, but she's also a pony. And she's a chestnut brindle. So Freya was produced in early 2013. And it's actually pretty interesting just looking at the different aquariums to see how much their sculpting style has improved over the years. When you look at the ones from 2008, 2009, they're admittedly kind of cartoony. But then as you move on through the years, they just get more and more realistic and it's pretty cool to see. This little fellow is Kyartan. Um, admittedly, he's probably my favorite out of all the aquariums I have. I just think he's absolutely adorable and he just spoke to me when I saw him on sales pages. So I said, all right, we gotta buy this pony. I'm not sure what mold he's on. All I know is that it's not the Fjord mold. So this was ordered on another pony mold and then turned into a Fjord. But honestly, aquarium has so many molds that are constantly going in and out of production. It's really hard to keep track of everything. But yeah, basically he's freaking adorable, and he also looks really awesome in tack. Like, come on, he's just so freaking cute, you can't resist him. Alright, this guy's Rosencrantz. He's a factory custom on the Tursk mold. Um, his head is turned, and his ears are also resculpted, I believe. And he was made in December 2010, but he's a flea bitten gray with the white mane and tail as well. And he's probably the bendiest out of all the ones I have, just based on his mold. Which is actually kind of fun. Because that means he can do pretty much every gait. So obviously, as he stands right now, he's walking. Then a few bends later, he's trotting. And a few more bends, and he's had a slightly wonky, but still believable canter. And obviously, that's the beauty of a quorum, so believe in the bendy. And last, but most certainly not least, we have my lone traditional scale quorum, who is Lohomora. And she is a Bedouin Arabian. The traditional scale ones are probably small traditional scale. She's about the size of Sherman Morgan. She is incredible. Like, honestly, I just, I look at this horse and say, how the hell is this horse made out of rubber? Like, the detail is just incredible in her. Okay, like, seriously, look at that freaking face. 
How is this a rubber horse? So she's painted up in a nice flea bitten rosy gray. She was made in February 2013 and honestly I'm just awestruck by this stupid horse. She's got the haired mane and tail and everything, like the really ridiculous length, and she is just absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so you're probably thinking, well, this is cool and all, but videos or it didn't bend. So I'm just going to use one of my pixies because it's easier to keep them in front of the camera so I can still see my hands. But basically, I mean, it's pretty simple. You just, you take, you bend, and it stays. You take back. You revert, he stands again. His neck can go from side to side a little bit. I mean, if I wanted to, I could make him do kind of a wonky little trot thing. Doesn't look great, but eh, it works. But yeah, that's pretty much just how they bend. Pretty neat, huh? Now with the quorums, you can pretty much do anything you do with any other kind of model horse, whether it be a briar or a stone or even like a grand champion or something. I mean, you can show them in halter and performance. For example, I had this western set for a while and I modified it to fit my quorum, so here's Kjartan modeling it and I think he looks very cute in it. You can do anything with them and the bendiness kind of gives them a little bit more personality than your average model horse, I think. Kind of, you can take pictures of them and they can do different things versus just stand or just trot or just rear. Like, they can do everything. So basically, I just think they're neat. But if you'd like more information on these guys, um, I included some links in the description. But just warning you, due to their handcrafted nature, they are a bit on the pricey side. Especially if you're in the United States. So if you're on the hunt for one, I'd recommend keeping an eye on model horse sales pages on eBay because periodically they do come up. So best of luck and may the bendy be with you.